Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update. This just in, finally, some recent pictures of Big Rammy, two-time Mr. Olympia. He looks like he, according to his uh, reports, he's weighing 336 pounds, and he's looking very lean, I must admit, at 336 pounds, at 18 weeks out from Mr. Olympia. Now, what's amazing is the Mr. Olympia is in December, and 18 weeks sounds like it's like around the corner. I guess it is. Time really does fly. But Rami obviously is uh, at the peak of his powers right now. I mean, not only is he really big, but he's actually pretty damn lean, too. I mean, his waist looks really small. His abs look good. He doesn't look like he's holding excessive amounts of fat. Now, he's not in contest shape, but he's obviously not out of shape either, which a lot of times we see Mr. Olympias when they start their prep, they're, they're really out of shape. I mean, think, you know, Sean Roden back in the day, but Rami's in great shape. He looks big. Now, we didn't see his legs, so it's really, you know, I'm assuming his legs are his legs, and he's got great legs. We didn't see his back, which in, in recent years has been uh, the subject of controversy because there's been a little bit of atrophy in those lower lats, but from the front, he looks unbeatable. I mean, the guy is wide as a house. He's got a really small waist. If you, th if you look at the, uh, you know, the taper he's got, I mean, Ram this is Rami's show to lose. We've said it all along. I mean, no one's bigger than this guy on stage. And, you know, if he gets lean and gets shredded and doesn't leave anything open to debate, no one beats him. It's impossible. The guy's the reigning Mr. Olympia. He's the biggest guy. He's got great structure. He's got great proportion. He's got huge legs. He's got an enormous back. He's got you know, super wide shoulders. He's got good arms. He's not really missing any body parts. I mean, and there's no one bigger than him out there. So, I mean, all he's got to do is come in in shape, which seems to be a very tall order because he always seems to be, you know, not quite hitting it the way he needs to or just doing enough to, to squeak by. If he comes in at his best, which we haven't seen yet, ever, from him, no one beats him. He could win another five years if he, can, if he can continue to look like this and just come and shredded. This guy is, I mean, look, I was a big guy back in the day, and I, weighed, I was pretty lean at 320 pounds. This guy is, makes me look like, 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 like nothing. He's 336 pounds at probably the same height I was. He's probably about 5'11". That's, that's, You've got to understand those numbers. That, that's a seriously huge number. There's been no bodybuilder in the history of our sport at his height that's weighed that much and had his proportions. That's crazy. I mean, he could legitimately come in to the show probably at, you know, 300 pounds, you know, shredded this year. You know, we always get pumped up weight, so it's, I, I, I never know what to believe, you know, what he is really on stage. But I have to believe he was in the, in the th maybe the 390s or 380s last year. I think we could see him at I mean, 280s, 290s. I, I think he could, he could weigh a legitimate 300 pounds. I don't think he has 25 pounds to lose. I mean, he probably has, you know... 10 pounds of water on him, but maybe, you know, maybe 12 pounds of fat on him. I don't know. You know, we haven't seen the rest of him, but he's, he looks good. This is a good big Rammy. People should be very scared. If this picture is accurate and there hasn't been anything done to it, like, you know, Photoshop wise, he's looking very, very dangerous. And I'm sure they put this picture out because his hands on hips, most muscle is a very, very good pose for him. They didn't show his back, which is where people, you know, seem to have, you know, some debate. And his legs always look good. So I don't, I don't you know, he, they could have shown his legs. His legs are ridiculous. I mean, he's probably got some of the biggest quads in all of bodybuilding of all time, maybe. You know, you could argue Platts had the best legs just because of the detail in his legs. But um, Rami's got side, if you put a tape measure on them, they might be the biggest of all time. So this is a, a guy who is moving into the prep stages of his Olympia prep in a Huge, huge advantage from what he was in years past. He's not playing catch up. Knock on wood, he doesn't get sick or any COVID or anything like that. He's in a very good place right now. And I think as long as his head is on straight and he's ready to suffer for the next, you know, 18 weeks, I don't think anyone can, can touch this guy. I don't think there's, any, I don't even think like a Nick Walker can touch this guy because even with the freak factor he has, Rami's got, is bigger and he's got better proportion. The only thing Nick would have over him would be conditioning, you know, uh, potentially. Potentially. We don't know what Rami's going to bring to the stage. Hadi Shupin probably has conditioning over Rami, but he's just not big enough. He's a, he's a small, big Rami, you know. And so it's like Arnold always says, a good big man always beats a good small man, usually if, if you know, everything else is equal. So all Rami's got to do is, is do his homework. 
18 weeks of suffering, Rami. You can have enjoy the rest of the year as much as you want, and you win this show easy. This is your show to lose. It's your show to win. I'm impressed. I think that Rami is going to really, really maybe bring the best Rami we've ever seen to the stage this year. Uh, I, like I said, I hope he's in a good place mentally. I hope he's got a good support team around him and they're not going to let him just, you know, dilly dally and kind of coast, so to speak. If he works hard and works like every day is the most important day of his life and he comes in and shows everyone a physique that we've never seen from him before, shredded to the bone, full, dense, big, with the proportions he has, he easily wins. And this might go down as, as his greatest Olympia win of all time. Now, if you think about it, in, what was it, 93, Dorian was incredible. In 2003, Ronnie was ridiculous. What was he, 292 on stage? Just out of his mind, fucking huge, ripped. You know, maybe Rami's going to wait for 2023 to pull that physique off, but I would like to see it in, in 2022 because I think we've been waiting we're excited. It's going to add another level of excitement if Rami shows up at his all-time best. And it will just cement his, I guess you could say, dominance at the top of the uh, bodybuilding world. Because if he does come in at his best and, and destroys everyone, his you know, chance to repeat a couple more times is going to be much, much, much higher. And if Rami could you know, keep his head together, I think he could win five more times if he really wants to. It's going to be a matter of can Rami... Does Rami want to do it, number one? And if he does, is his body going to hold up, number two? And if it does, I think he's got the, all the tools to be able to do it. He's, still not, he's, he's really not old. You know, he's obviously older than he's been, but he's still in a good range where he can win a, absolutely two to three more easily and probably more because I just don't see any guys that are going to touch him if, if Rami can deliver the goods when he shows up on that Olympia stage. All right. It's always good to have excitement in our industry. When I see a 336-pound ripped, crazy Mr. Olympia showing off on Instagram, I get excited. And I know you guys, the fans, are excited too. So let's see if Rami can bring it in 18 weeks. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.